So what's up with the memory card? What can I do with it? Memory card? Doesn't fit. No compatible slots, huh? No idea how to log in. So I have a memory card. What do I do with it? <coughs> Excuse me again. ROM parts? I missed this the first time. What reason would you have for taking this? You don't even own a ROM. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs. As if he doesn't do enough of that at work. Uh, item on ROM parts. Headphones? ROM only needs a few parts to get a voice, like Turing has. Maybe this one's better as it is after all. Hmm. Don't really follow what that was saying, but whatever. Oh, stack of books. Oh, I think I see something under those reference books. Ah, morning, life recoded. How's it going? Yeah, chopped up stream sound like a good idea. All right. Curtis says I prefer to watch the whole thing at once. Well, I mean, it's not—it's not like the streams won't still be available, and just you know, what once they're all up, people can binge watch them. That's fine. It's more that, like, having a th two- or three-hour video on YouTube is intimidating as fuck to most people. Daniel Slots also says I'm fine with the long video. Eh, Alright, votes are starting to weigh over on the other side. But the again, you guys are the guys that are here for streams, so... I mean, I know it sounds hypocritical to ask for an opinion and then immediately find a way to discount that opinion, but you guys are the ones who are clearly on one side already. <laughs> Look at memory card. What could be stored on this? Oh, this has got to be something good. I put it in my inventory. The plastic ID card with your name, picture, and stats. Spoiled milk. A good bit past due date. Menu? I've never been in here before. Oh, saves. I should probably save. Thank you. Oh, sa oh I get to name my stuff. Nice. Um, spoiled milk, yay. <laughs> it's, it's been a while since we actually got the spoiled milk, but I'm saving it that as that anyways. Actually here, you know what, I'm gonna turn down the sound effects and the music just a little bit. Or sorry, music and sound effects just a little bit, leave the voice high, and then I'm gonna come over here. And crank up the audio just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 da. If Kurt puts it in a playlist, those play automatically. Wasn't there something under those books? Wait, the books moved? Why did the books move? And so Kurt could break it up and then it'll still play all at once. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Group. Like, once everything's there, you can still watch it in a big, uh, a big spree. I would assume the long video would remain and there'd be a second version of shorter videos for people who might prefer to watch it in short bursts. I, I like options. That's another thing, Master Time Thief. Yeah, is I, is I could leave the big stream there for people who, and, like, leave it in the live streams folder and then make a second uh, playlist of chopped up video and treat that as an LP. I actually, I like that idea. That could be good. Uh, look at tablets. That device. You don't like this device, Turing? Did it call you fat one day? I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. Hmm. Trust is a big thing, Turing. I, 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 again, this is just me. I prefer writing things down on post-it notes rather than putting things in my phone. Because post-it notes and stuff that you can actually work with with your hands, it imprints it into your memory more. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Nice. Uh, what about the people watching the stream? I've already seen the chopped up parts will appeal to people who didn't watch the stream. It's a day without a new video for us. Yeah, yeah, pretty much Turtle King. He says, uh, what about the people watching this stream? We've already seen it, so the chopped up parts will appeal to people who didn't watch the stream. Yeah, that's ma mainly what I'm what I'm going for here. If you put the post-it notes on Turing, then you can use both. Perfect, Master Time Thief. Just cover up that face. 
with uh, many t tiny yellow pieces of paper. All right, let's use an item. We've been uh, we've been fucking around here too long with this uh, talk of the stream chop up and stuff. So if even if it, uh, when I do do this thing now that I've decided to do, um, it's gonna be a big old in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Like a, a, a big old blank space of talk that they can't weigh in on. It's mm. the, the. <laughs> If only he had kept his information <clears throat> stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. It's fine, Turing. He, 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 he's only harboring some deep uh, secret resentment for you because he knows that you're gonna steal his wife one day. Don't worry about it. I'm supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Ring any digital bells? Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. Sure, that sounds like a Here, totally safe to thing to do. A club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. I'll mark it on your city map. Stardust added a city map. Sure. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. I have a map. Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. All right. We why don't we do that? that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. I just need to ask you a few questions. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is an exciting thing, I promise. All right. Don't you know literally everything about me already? You knew my first dog's birthday. Sure, whatever, let's get this crap over with. I don't want to be a dick, but I am curious. <sighs> This is just how things are done. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system, but that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. All right, so, all right. Here we go. Twitter is great, Con. Yeah, that that's fine, Gerb. Don't worry about it. I'll get back to you later. Thanks. For your new relationship and organizational manager, running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. I'll I like that face. Ask you a few <laughs> questions, and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. All right. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Sure. Preferred name? I can totally do it. <laughs> Cut the crap. We need to go. No, enter name. All right. Enter your name. Koo Butts. Done. Do you wish to keep this name? Absolutely. Kubuts. Thank you. I have input your name. As Kubuts. <laughs> Yay. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? <laughs> no slots. I did not hit the factory reset button. Uh, Turing is running a user account creation program so that I have a thing that to like take phone calls and emails and whatever through him, her, it, it's, that, 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 that's all it is. It just ran into an automated thing so that I could set up an account. Oh, shit. This is the, um, pronouns, right. Yeah, so this is another thing that I heard about this game, and this is, uh, apparently, like, a, a big, uh, cool thing about it, is, uh, it was, it was, like, like, made from the ground up. Like, this, it's a tricky thing. It, it, it's a well-designed, like, point-and-click adventure game, but it was made with the idea of being, like, very inclusive to everything, kind of like Undertale was, but in a way that, like, even all the NPCs you go and interact with are just, like, fucking everything under the sun. It's like, they're, they're, there's very little uniformity, and it's just kind of got this uh, aesthetic and bleeding through everything thing of like yeah people there's a lot of people that are different from each other and that doesn't make any of them wrong or weird or gross or any of that so like just deal with it this is what our game's about <laughs> uh i'm a guy thank you i have input your pronouns 
Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? And Turtle King is also taken off. Later, Turtle King. I probably won't be. I'm only going for three hours today. Normally, I only go for two hours, but I want to go for a little longer this time. <laughs> preferred diet? What the hell is halal? More options. Kosher, gluten-free, vegan, alcohol-free, goddammit, Turing. <laughs> Um, I am, yeah, omnivorous. I don't even know what most of that is. Omnivorous, are you sure? Yes. Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. Does that sound right? Your name is Kubots, your program uh, programs, your pronouns are he him, your diet is omnivorous. It sounds pretty basic to me. Yep. Correct. Thank you. Alright. Get your personality back, let's go. See, that was relatively painless. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Uh, da, 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 da. Gonna start speaking Spanish now. Halal, denoting or relating to meat prepared as prescribed by Muslim law. Okay, so extra religious considerations. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. I.e. Not, not also known as, but similar to kosher, like Master Time Thief said. Uh, all right, I'm ready. I've already looked at I'm everything sure here. We can find some common ground while getting to know one another better. I certainly hope so. You seem like a stand-up bot. An efficient use of our time together. Thank you for escorting me here. Let's head back to your home. <clears throat> this game does not autosave, so please be sure to save frequently. Oh, so this is I I've been in the first hour, it's mostly intro stuff. Okay. I guess that is just where I set up my profile, so any named stuff hasn't come up yet. This has all been general. Generalities. Oh, also chapter one. That's that's a big indication. <laughs> well, this would be a good place to take a quick break and make another uh, pot of coffee. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. As soon as I, I get a quick sec here. Yeah, here you we go. You know, your Prasula Ovada isn't doing very well. Well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll wait until we actually get into a thing. Have you been overwatering it? Uh, yes, no. Sometimes things just rattle out of you, and I have no idea how to respond to it. <laughs> Come on, give me that. Deride me if you want, but I'm merely attempting to care for this living being you've been so callously neglecting. <laughs> if I can continue without the insults. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not actually trying to hate on you, alright? This is just, this is a how I show affection, because I'm a cold, callous 27-year-old man. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that uh, report. <clears throat> Just what I needed to know. Plant's name Wilty. I got a friend a couple months ago. <laughs> Mildew. Give the landlord another call. Important things for it. Yeah. How it has a name. The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. Whole lot of flavors text in this game. I like it. It's got personality. So what do you want me to do about the plant? <laughs> I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. Sure. Fix my you plant. have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Sure. <laughs> well, forgive me for giving a damn. <laughs> Nah, fix the plant. Excellent. The 
supplies should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, one other thing. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. Aha, thank you. I there think that's bold. There is scientific bold. evidence that shows there may be something to the notion. Damn it. But the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. I, I think I think it's that. It's rank. Mildew, Landlord Nicole. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. Alright, I'm gonna need you to stop taking liberties. Like, this is- I- I don't- I don't want automated stuff. I don't- everything goes through me. I gotta give sign-off on shit like this, Turing. And considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Mmm, great! I didn't know that when I moved in here. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? I, I don't have I any money. I continue to formulate a stratagem. Thank you. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. It'll really pull the whole room together. Episode X of whatever it is that I'm putting this up. I'm talking about plants. <laughs> you know, once we get the sink fixed. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tom. Oh, we've just been killing time? We should make our way to Stardust soon. Alright. The city map is updated with the location. Let's, uh, let's get going map. Actually, here, I did say that I wanted to take a second, so now that we're hanging out here, I'll leave you guys with this smooth background music for a minute or two. I am going to go put myself on another coffee, and maybe turn on the webcam if I'm going to be doing LP videos of this, so BRB. I had a bit of time to wake up. Hopefully I'm uh, at least a little bit presentable now. And Shawnee, seriously, man, what's the point of taking a robot on your house if you're not gonna... Rosie, it's bitch-ass to do all the housework. Um... It doesn't know how to make my coffee. If I, if I got this robot to make my coffee, it'd come back with something that's blacker than oil. And, uh, probably sweetened up with a whole ton of artificial sweeteners. Seriously, that shit's gonna give me cancer. I like my coffee with just a little bit of milk or cream. A certain amount of unrefined cane sugar. Yes, I pay for the special stuff. Morning coffee something sacred. You gotta do it your damn self to make it just right. <laughs> and good morning, Green Power Star. Yep, uh, well, it's a green hat and a teal shirt, actually, for GDX, which is a thing I volunteered at last year. But uh, that's a whole bunch of pointless bullshit. We're not gonna worry about too much about that right now. X out of studio mode and get this thing over here so that I can make sure I see exactly what's being broadcast. And now let's get the Read Only Memories game back up. Map, right. Wow, this is a big city. Do I want to take a second to actually look around the home? I think I do. I want to continue looking around the home for a little bit. How do I how do I get back? There we go. Lappy top. Hey! Oh, it's uh nope. Red screen. I was I thought it might have booted back up. Book. Talk to the book. You start to tell the book a story before realizing the irony. <laughs> your home within your home, ba 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 already knew that about the bed. You remind the fridge that you need to pick up some more milk when you go out. It jots down Malk on the list. Probably best to just make a mental note instead. You've had enough vitamin R for one lifetime. Ah, <laughs> uh, Simpsons references. <laughs> the mustard has adhered itself to the fridge door. I love this place. Did it just try to talk back? Running water might just make it worse. Is there a coffee mug? Take the mug. So many of your internal organs are thanking you for refusing to drink from that again. <laughs> oh, Turing moved the mug over to the sink. I get ya. The great equalizer, the one thing that the poor and rich alike need to chug through the day, you assume. Not so. The rich actually have some special super caffeine they inject directly into their open eyeballs. It's crazy shit. You don't want to You don't want to know about it. All right, let's get over to the uh, to the place we got to go. Stardust Club. Go. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. Oh, la-di-la. -la. Black tea in the morning. Lappy, are we strong bad? 
Is that what that is? Is that a reference to Strong Bad? I never did uh, Homestar Runner or Strong Bad, and honestly, Strong Bad's voice makes me want to kill something. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully, we can find Tomcat inside. And. And what? And what? I clicked off too fast. Tap on the glass, plant doesn't seem to notice. Either the plant doesn't hear you, or it's choosing to ignore your attempts to talk at it. What a rude plant. Hug the bouncer. <laughs> but I he pushes don't you. Think touching him will get us anywhere. I'm, I'm clicking through too fast. I want to hug the bouncer. Nah, it won't work again. Later, Nick. Roommate's taken off. Sorry for the door. Welcome to Stardust. No, that's it. It's a sign for Stardust. What a fancy neon script. Parked car. Pour milk on the car <laughs> with the intent to pour your spoiled milk on the windshield, but the coop's wipers are already alerted and stand primed at the ready, daring you to try. I'll do it. Just pour it on the roof where the wipers can't get at you. <laughs> Tell the car to stay parked. It doesn't recognize your voice, so it doesn't respond. Different means, same outcome. Still a victory for you. I like this guy. He's got a positive outlook on life. Don't take that down, it's the holidays. Is it? Is it near Christmas? Should I have actually played this game at fucking Christmas last year? God damn it. Almost looks meticulously handcrafted until you notice it's the exact same as the one on the front door. <laughs> All right, let's head into the head into the club. Hold up there. Got ID? Aha, I did. I did pick up ID. No, that's, that's the spoiler. <laughs> All right, looks good to me. Into the club. Welcome to Stardust. All right, I'm on cam now. I can't pick my nose. Ugh. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? I have not. This is my first time. I don't think it'll be my last. Who could stand the mute? Thank you. The driving base has some interesting mathematical interactions with the chorus, and the tempo is certainly geared towards exciting the human circulatory system. But it doesn't. It just makes me hate everything. I want to leave. I could learn to like it, but I agree. The volume is stressing my audio receptors. Yes, that's really more what it is. <sighs> anyway, where do you think we should start? Back making car, can you interact with the moving cars? I don't think so, Shawnee. They didn't light up. Strong Bad's third computer was a lappy. He also had a few compies. Alright, thanks, Green Power Star, for the intro. Uh, Pro Bear Cub says there's a few Homestar refs. I believe it, it I know it was crazy popular, it's just, just never my thing. Or you could pick your nose and not give a damn what we think. Yeah, Daniel, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just get right up and then No, I'm not gonna do that. That's disgusting. <laughs> I came back to Curry picking his nose. Nice. God damn it, now this has become immortalized. I'm a nose picker. <laughs> Uh, well, we're already at the bar. Let's check the bar. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. God damn it, ever since you said Tom Fox earlier, now I just keep thinking, like, <laughs> mentally replacing Tomcat with Tom Fox every time. I didn't even watch that guy. I actually saw a Christmas ad yesterday. YouTube needs to catch up. I believe it. Chair. Use the chair. It's not even a spinny chair. It only looks like one. That, what some bullshit is that then? Fucking take my milk. Would you want to sit? No, I wouldn't want to sit in that. That's why I'm not going to sit on it. I'm going to pour milk on it so somebody else can sit on it. I'm going to use this milk on everything in the damn game. I want you guys to know that until I find a use for it. You may not like the band, but there's no reason to ruin their cool new poster. Milk. No outside drinks. And that just barely counts as one. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Use movie poster. It's kind of cute there. Uh, Red World, an abstract indie flick premiering at the Castro Theater. And milk. I'm trying to sabotage the struggling indie film industry. Yes. That stuff is way too artsy. I can never follow any of what it's trying to say. Headphones. There's a free song preview attached to the poster. Don't listen too long. Posters like this can charge your account automatically if you listen past 30 seconds. Oh. Oh. All right, what you got? Morning, friend. What can I do for you? Your club is open in the morning? Christ. Uh, I'd like a drink. What are you having? <sighs> Scotch drop and roll. I like that. Clumsy Belarusian. I don't know what any of this is. Rusted Lace, Power Play, Persian June, Modest Connie, Tastes Like Orange, Subtle Bitch, Hassy Spikes, Sickle Sky, Sour Apple Tea. Oh, 
Yes. Fluffy Dream. God, there's so many things. So many things! Fucking ID. <laughs> fucking IDK. Can it be? When is it gonna loop back around? I saw what I wanted. Green tea, whiskey, sunshine clown, rusty nail, buzzer. Uh, Pro Bear Cub, did you put this into torture people? <laughs> Wiener juice, Tokyo tea. Oh, I have to pay attention. It's actually, it, it is looping through now, but they're in different positions. Sour Apple Teeny. I've been watching uh, Scrubs lately. Thank you. I'll have your manly so drink. These days. Remind me, what's in there? Um. Drink Shinary, the open alcoholic <laughs> says. Vodka, one part sour apple schnapps, a splash of melon liqueur, and a squirt of lemon juice. Thank ya. Does that sound good? I. Uh, yes. Huh. All right, you got it. Also, what kind, right of, kind of a bartender are you that you have to ask me how to make the drinks? Get out of there! <laughs> now, what is it you need to know? Oh, what? If I tried to talk, would he say only you're not you're not a customer? That's all right. Um, what's up with you? Oh, <laughs> I should introduce myself. The name's Maji. I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. And you still don't know how to make a sour apple teeny, your most popular of drinks? What is wrong with you, good sir? So, what do you want to know? Uh, Sam and Max Strat. Just checking, uh, checking on the, on the chats. Came out, uh, I actually saw Chris's sh green hat, green shirt, green finger. Fuck off, Shawnee. Hey, that voice, that voice actor. You know this voice actor, Green? I'm willing to bet the milk is something you use at the end of the game. Probably, slots. Uh, Tom Tomamoto, PT, the robot, did have a distinctive voice. She's the voice from The Walking Dead. She will remember this. Yeah, yeah, Shawnee. Uh, we already figured that out earlier. She was Clementine. Drinktionary is my most favorite website. Kirk, can you remember 4,000 different drinks? No, Shawnee, and that's why I'm not a bartender, but he is. Assuming that A. Eh? Oh. Talking to each other. Gotcha. Now, not to be rude, but don't plays like this come and go in a flash, but they say Stardust is forever. That's true, and it was true about Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that, the interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next big thing. I wonder uh, if there are people who, like, set up to make these big clubs, but they make them in cheap ways so that they can get that initial, like, six-month surge. And then they just, they make it with the intention of closing up shop after they made a bunch of money. They're basically flipping bars. But, I guess I'm just stubborn and kept throwing good money after bad. <laughs> after two years in a remodel, things started to pick back up again. We slowly dug ourselves out of the debt hole. Nice! Good on you. We got some regulars around, they started bringing in enough new folks and it reached critical mass pretty quick. And what'd you do before that? Mostly got myself into trouble. When I immigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. Naturally. Never something I'm going to be able to do, and I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Truth be told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. I wanted something regular, peaceful. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. You just you just had cash on hand to buy a bar? I'm that's, sure it that's sounds nice. more exciting than it was. <laughs> uh, looking for Hayden Weber. Should I should I even say that? If this guy is high profile, maybe I shouldn't exhaust all of my dialogue options. Hmm. Well, this guy seems trustworthy, so I'll if I uh, I'll, I'll take some risks at the beginning. If it seems like they're coming back to bite me in the ass, I'll be more cautious. Hayden, scientist guy, does some kind of computer research at Parallax. Oh, Curtis says the club flipping thing is quite common in college towns. Doesn't surprise Pretty me. sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Alright, well, that's Our fair. This doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. Excuse me? I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Alright, cool, thanks. Seems like it's gonna pay off. Meeting a Tomcat, you know where they are? I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. 
I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. All right. Maybe try so he's a real shady floor. character. They come around here. I'll tell them you're looking. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. All right. Sounds like a plan. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. I keep hearing a little ding sound. I don't know what that is. Is that like a, 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 a you've, you've gained something? Like some switch has been flipped in the programming? Like you've gained critical information or you got an item or something? Because if so, that's cool. I just want to know what it is. Cover the face with your hand, but when you pull away, it's still there. Ah! I don't believe it. <laughs> Comparing your picture to the face on the poster? Hey, you actually win this one. Yes. Had to happen eventually. Uh, nothing else here. Alright, let's head to the dance floor.